Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to Solutions Watch. I'm your host, James Corbett of CorbettReport.com, but you already knew that. And this is the final edition of the Corbett Report for the year 2023. Thank you all for another wonderful year. I hope Santa left whatever Santa left under your tree that was made you all happy. And I hope you all have a happy new year. But before I wrap things up for the year. How about an extremely lengthy episode of Solutions Watch? Yay! Everyone cheers wildly in the crowd, I'm sure. Yes, for people who are new to all of this or new to the Corbett Report, well, you have some catching up to do, but I would suggest you start with introducing Solutions Watch, where I introduced the Solutions Watch podcast, low those many years ago? Well, at the beginning of 2021, anyway, almost three years ago in which I explained Solutions Watch is not a spectator sport, it is a participant activity, and thus it requires your feedback and commentary, and also that Solutions Watch is an ongoing process of throwing out ideas, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, adjusting uh, uh, actions accordingly, etc. The next edition of Solutions Watch, September 5th, White Rose Mucho Grande, in which I talked to Etchen de la Boite Squared, um, and also a representative, Kenny Pallarintano of the White Rose, about their effort uh, with the Mucho Grande project to um, provide visualizations of some of this information that could be hard to put into words. Well, here are some ways to visualize it. We talked about that, and I did reach out to Etienne for updates about those efforts and what's going on in regards to his book about government, the biggest scam in history, etc. And this is the summary that he provided. Hi, Corbett Report audience. It's Etienne de la Boise squared from the Art of Liberty Foundation coming to you from the high desert outside of Sedona, Arizona. James asked me to uh, shoot a quick segment uh, letting everybody know what happened since our last appearance on the Corbett Report for the launch of our free downloadable poster series, uh, The White Rose Mucho Grande. But I thought the more fascinating story is really what happened to us since our initial appearance on the Corbett Report in March of 2021, where I took the audience through my book, Government, The Biggest Scam in History Exposed, How Intergenerational Organized Crime Runs the Government, the Media, and Academia. It was really my first uh, experience of what I like to call the Corbett Bump, uh, and that one, exp that one appearance uh, physically crashed our web servers to the point of where we had to call our hosting company and turn up additional resources. We sold $37,000 worth of books to 22 countries in less than a month. Uh, we sold out of four different print runs of books. And what's kind of most exciting is a lot of uh, the viewers and listeners bought low-cost bulk copies that we call Friends Bundles for their friends, their families, and colleagues. And as those books began to land around the world, uh, it triggered a kind of an, uh, uh, another wave of sales as uh, those people bought additional bulk copies for their friends, family, and colleagues. And that dynamic continued getting a little bit smaller each month for another four months. But really the most exciting thing is, is that one appearance on the Corbett Report really launched us as a startup voluntarist public policy organization exposing the illegitimacy and the criminality of government. We just published our annual report at artofliberty.org and I wanted to just kind of take the audience through some of the metrics where we shot out the lights in every conceivable uh, way. Total books and products sold up li online up 25%. Visitors to government-scam.com up 26.4%. Foundation total revenue up 27%. Copies of government, the biggest scam in history exposed up 28%. New bookstore customers up 37.9%. Book sales revenue up 40.4%. Visitors to artofliberty.org up 56%. 
Conferences and events we participate in up 133%, media and podcast appearances up 263%, and growth of our uh, subscribers to our house email list up 1,300% since we appeared on the Corbett Report. We could not have done this without James and Brock and the listeners and viewers of the Corbett Report, so I'm very excited to have this opportunity to say thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart uh, from from each and every one of us at the Art of Liberty Foundation to you and yours. Have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank you.